from the makers of TikTok Trends. And the producers of TikTok ads. We now bring to you TikTok recipes. Yes, you heard. Today we're going to be testing out six TikTok recipes. And since I'm not quite the foodie, I figured I'd summon someone that's pretty good at eating. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, where did you get that from? <laughs> and so joining me today is my sister, Sika. What's up, guys? <laughs> And as I mentioned, we're going to be doing viral TikTok recipes. Some of them look a little questionable, and the others look pretty gross. So we're gonna test them out to make sure that we waste our recipes and, and you don't. <laughs> For those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, otherwise I will wave a sharp pointy thing at you. Don't make me do it. So we're going to be starting with this recipe that went viral in different ways. The first video we're checking out is how to make Dunkaroo dipping thingamajig. For those of just Dunkaroos. There's no dippy thingamajig because there's only one kind of Dunkaroo. <laughs> well, don't they have chocolate? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. They're both Dunkaroos. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Dunkaroos is pretty much a graham cracker that you can dip in a sweet vanilla icing, icing? Tasting. thingamajig. Yeah. <laughs> that. <laughs> so here's what the video shows us. So it's really simple. All it really requires is pretty much three things. We have the cake batter, the whipped cream, the cool whip, cool whip, and then there's something that they're putting in there. We have no idea what it is. So let's pause that frame. It looks like they're sprinkling something. We have no idea what it is, but we'll, we'll, we'll just have to test and find out. And the last thing we need is the cookies. One of the things that bothers me with the TikTok recipes is that many of them don't even tell you if it's good or if it's bad. They just eat it and they're like, mmm, but what is it really? We're here to tell you the truth. And we're gonna be very harsh with it, right? Yep. Because we are the bringer of salt. The bringer of salt. <laughs> but just in case the first recipe is too thick, we can see in the second one, they do use milk. So just in case, if it is way too thick, we can use milk because this seems like the right consistency. Although Dunkaroos are a lot thicker though. They are hard to scoop out generally. Okay, so we might make it a little thicker too. All right, so we're probably not going to use the entire... Are you okay? <laughs> I love Dunkaroos and I really love whipped cream. Oh, oh my god! How about me? Oh no! too much. Okay, we need it. Stop! <laughs> Alright, so we're going to use maybe half because we don't want to waste it. So we're going to put half this bag. I have a feeling that this cloth is going to oh, take a good. Mm. Ooh, that smells really good. Does it smell like Dunkaroos? Um, I haven't had them in forever, by the way. I'm not sure if they smell like Dunkaroos. Fun or fact, just... we don't have Dunkaroos anymore no, in Canada. Out. So Why? I don't know. Because they probably sold well. <laughs> well, no, but like for real. Okay, don't, ang don't get angry at me. I'm just a grain we of salt. We have nothing good in Canada. Aww. They got rid of Gushers too, which makes me really Oh, sad. Gushers were so good. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. Did we get a spoon? No. You know what that means? Uh, no. Go get the spoon! Ugh. Um, the bus. I was going to take your hat. I know, I was so scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm the boss. Before we continue with our TikTok recipes, today's video is sponsored by June's Journey. For those of you who don't know, June's Journey is a murder mystery game for your phone. Think of it as the game I Spy, but instead of just looking for items, you are looking for items in order to solve the murder mystery. The premise of the story is set in the 1920s, and we try to uncover the culprit of who this mysterious murderer is. Now, despite the fact that this is a murder mystery, the absolutely relaxing and gorgeous music and the sceneries in those games that pretty much look like paintings I would hang on my own walls, give this game a really relaxing feel to them. So it's definitely not one of those games where you have to battle creatures of destruction. <laughs> but rather it's kind of when you want some downtime. Normally after a review, Salty Crafter is pretty much on edge. I mean, look at her. Yeah, she does not look happy at all. So in order to get her relaxed, I give her a game that she can take it easy with. I mean, look at her, look at that face. It's going from extra edgy to just slightly edgy. That's just how Salty Crafter be. Don't ask me questions. So make sure that you check out June's Journey. The link will be in description box below. Thank you again for sponsoring this video. Really, this is one of those games that you have downtime with. All right, back onto TikTok. I have no idea how much to put. Okay, Sika, you want to put it while I mix it? In my mouth? No! Go circle. Um, my hand isn't strong enough to do it with that. Oh, whoa, whoa! Lower. Get lower. Okay, hang on. Time to mix. 
I'm, why am I letting you mix it? Okay, put some more. It's still very powdery. Well, we put a lot of cake mix, eh? I only put half. Okay, let's, let's stop. We need that. I'm just licking what's on the tip. Stop it. I'm licking the tip. <laughs> I got some in my nose. You <laughs> snorted it into my nose. Good job. Okay, this is getting, this is a little too dry. It's puffy. It is puffy, but it's really dry. Look at all the powder. Can I touch makeup. it? Yeah. Oh, it's so airy though. Oh, that is really airy. Nope! We're supposed to try it with the cookie. Uh, is it gross? I don't know, you told me we're supposed to try it with the cookie, so I didn't, I didn't taste it. <laughs> I like, just went to, like it was like hovering in my mouth. Oh no. I think we're gonna need milk. What do you think? Yeah, we can try with some milk. <laughs> I'm just cleaning off the tip. Oh my god, stop! <laughs> I can't take her anywhere! <laughs> Why? I use my finger! I was like, nah. <laughs> It looks like a hyena. Okay, we're discussing animal crackers. Obviously, I have a camel. Yeah. Why does? Why do they have holes in them? Yours has a hole too. It's probably just the mold, but this looks like a bison. It looks like maybe a, a, a lamb. Hyena? No, it's not a hyena. It looks like a hyena. It's not me. a safari cracker. <laughs> oh wait, but this is a camel. Well, it's an animal <laughs> cookie. Okay, hang on. Before we dunk it, by the way, we did not put any, any milk. milk. So this seems to be the right consistency, which is nice and thick. We also used about half of the whipped cream. So half the whipped cream to about half of the cake batter. Time to taste it. You ready? Yeah. Oh, Cheers. so weird. Oh, that is a lot. I, I don't know if I want to. There. There. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Ah! Why, why are you standing? <laughs> because I got excited, so I'm like this on the chair. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I'm so excited. Ready? Yeah. It's sour. That's gross. This is not good. Okay, so this is legitimately gross. It's not the cookie that's sour, right? No, no, my cookie's fine. This is really disappointing. Why is it sour? This is gross. What if we put confectioner sugar in it? No, there's something inherently wrong with everything. Hang on. So this is probably one of the biggest disappointments. We're guessing maybe because it's the confetti instead of a birthday cake one, but that really shouldn't make the batter sour. Yeah, it's like really- Like we're trying just the batter and it's like super sour. It's actually super- ugh. It's gross. It's gross on so many levels. So it feels like they made it with something that's expired. Even though it looks perfectly like dunk yeah. It is gross. It really does taste like expired sour lemony yeah, cake. Yeah, like lemony-ish. And just to be clear, this cake batter is not expired. It's just gross. So I'm gonna go pick up another batter and I'll try it. Why is it sour? It's I gross. Understand. I know. I know. I'm very disappointed. It's either the entire recipe that sucks or this specific batter. We'll only know once we try the second one. Attempt number two is with these guys. Why do I always keep getting camels? <laughs> and does it look like Dunkaroos? Yes, it does. Now the question is, does it taste like it? By the way, we are early the next day, and yes, Sika did leave, so I am tasting this on my own. Bon appetit, I know I look like poo. It's early in the morning, we're gonna do this. And... No. 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 Gross. Ugh. I think the verdict of this is that uncooked cake mix is really sour. So those TikTokers are liars. You might as well just pick up some frosting, to be honest. Oh, my hair is a mess. So for us, this recipe is definitely absolute garbage. Absolute abs. Uh, but I don't know what the words are coming okay. after. Absolute trash. Okay. Oh, I like it. <laughs> no, don't. Ready? Yeah. So for us, this is absolute trash. All right, after this disappointment, our second recipe is going to be Starburst Popcorn. I'm excited about this one because we have the saltiness of popcorn and technically the sweet and tanginess of the sweet tarts. The sweet tarts. Oh, uh, Starburst. <laughs> I was thinking about sweet tarts because I had some the other day. I was like, mm, they're in my drawer. <laughs> So let's check out how this recipe is done. Grab some Starburst, separate them by color and unwrap each one. You'll need about 20 each. Just to be clear, we're not going to be doing as many as she did. We're probably going to do only one flavor because it's not like we're prepping for a party, right? I guess we're not. Fine, we'll do two. I had plans, okay? Says the girl who goes to bed at nine o'clock. <laughs> um, excuse you, 5.30. <laughs> 5.30? Yeah, I go to bed so early. <laughs> okay, let's continue See, So now that we have our starbursts. Might take you a minute. You'll need a fourth of a cup of light corn syrup, and then one tablespoon of butter. You'll need a pot on medium heat and add your ingredients. Add your first color in. 
Constantly stir it until it's all melted. While that's going, pop two bags of popcorn. Two bags of popcorn? But that's, hang on, the two bags of popcorn is probably for all the other colors too. I hope so. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Let's, Jesus. let's just keep going. Add about four to six cups of popcorn into a bowl. And now pour your mixture in. Lightly stir your popcorn and then put it onto the parchment paper when you're done. It's gonna look like this. Let that cool for about 10 minutes. Repeat the same butter and corn syrup recipe for each color. Like this. Once it's dry, start breaking it into pieces. So I think the idea is pretty straightforward. It's a quarter cup of corn syrup, 20 starbursts, and we just mix it into the popcorn. With butter. With butter. You keep forgetting the butter. I keep forgetting the butter. It looks so good. Hey guys. All right, so let's do the doing. All right, if this isn't the biggest disappointment, I don't know what is, because we got so many yellow and so many red. And yet, the best flavors, we have like nothing. In we them. only got seven orange and about 10, 11, and the one in Sika's mouth. I don't have one in my mouth. Open your mouth. I'm gonna swallow it. <laughs> So we really have an uneven distribution of color. Look at this, it's like the two worst flavors. What the heck? I mean, sorry. <laughs> Let us know what is your favorite Starburst fa fla flavor. flavor. English. So great to be. Talkie talkie, please. Walkie talkie? Talkie talkie. Walkie talkie. My favorite is orange. Mine are pink. But then, I don't know if you grains like these two or not, let me know in the comment section below. But we don't even have enough to do half the recipe with the orange, so I might steal a couple of these. So first things first is we're going to pop one bag of popcorn. Since we're really doing only half of the amount for each one, we're not going to need much. In you go. It is all puppeted now. I'll let it cool up. Yes, I said cool up and not cool down because we need to morally bring each other up. That's why. <laughs> I mean, Alright, so we're doing one eighth of this with some butter. butter. And we've already preheated to about medium. There you go. Alright, and we're starting with pink. There we go. So let's see how long this takes before it melts. Currently have it on low heat. All right, so here it is pretty melted and it is on low heat. And that took us not even two minutes. Yeah, it really didn't take long. All right, let's- So I just pour it. Just pour it and start stirring. And that's as good as it's gonna get, I think. Stir, stir, stir. Ooh, super sticky. That's gonna be a pain in the butt to clean. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I can feel it already sticky. Oh no. All right, and here's the orange one. There it goes. And she makes them quick. You <laughs> have to, oh my god, it's all the bottom. so fast. Oh no, I highly recommend getting a disposable bowl. Yeah. Because this is not going to be good going down your drain. And here they are. Time to try them. Yeah, I would say definitely use a disposable container because this is a nightmare. Thanks for nothing. All right, so here they are. I, they do look kind of yummy since it's candied popcorn, but Sika is very skeptical. Oh, oh. Can you actually lift it? <laughs> and we did separate it. It just it just got sticky again. You happy with yourself? <laughs> Why? I asked you a question and you totally went in the zone. All right, I'm going to take orange. So this is what the orange coated one looks like. And it's still pretty sticky even though it's been sitting for like 20 minutes. You're having yeah, trouble. I'm still having trouble. You ready? Wait, this is the pink one. All right, here's the pink. Smells like Starburst, and let's go. <laughs> I'm sticking to my teeth. Yeah, this is not good. Mm-mm. 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 Nope. Oh, I heard that was it. No. You got it out? So in the same way it was sticking to the containers, think of it exactly the same way that it's sticking to your teeth. Because at least with Starburst, you can kind of let it melt in your mouth, but this year you have to chew it. So what ends up happening is it's getting into all the crevasses in your teeth. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> I'm gonna try the pink one. No, even with less, it still sticks to your teeth. Yeah. Oh, you took a big chunk of- Oh! No, mm -mm. too sticky. Mm -hmm. There's no way you can eat more than five, six pieces without maybe at some point having to floss. Or you can get an infection. Floss, I don't even think my floss will get there. Mm -mm. No. I'm pretty sure it'll break my floss. <laughs> Our verdict? So even though they do look delicious, delicious. <laughs> <sighs> that wording? A1. Good job. 
Good job, Jackie. So even though they do look delicious, and you would think that the salty and sweet balance would be spot on, the stickiness is a huge turnoff. Yeah, it's it's way too intense of a stickiness. It gets into your teeth. And it's not just a little bit, it really gets in there. Like, mm -hmm. it's really hard to get out. I personally wouldn't be surprised if it got deep into your, your gums and your teeth to the and point where you- created like irritation. Exactly, some kind of infection or something. This is bad. For me, this recipe would go straight in the garbage. Straight in the trash! The third recipe we're going to be trying has 41 million views. Holy moly, 41 million views. Must be something good. Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> it's like a commercial. <laughs> the idea behind this recipe is it pretty much looks like a cookie cake. Let's get in. <laughs> you know what you said right now? You love that. That looks like a recipe someone um, very high would eat. For some reason, this particular recipe reminds me of the Pizza Hut chippets. Yes. Right? Like that cookie cake. Yeah. But we're getting layers on that one. Yeah, so. because the one from Pizza Hut is just like one cake cut into pizza slices. It's a cookie. It's just a large cookie. Pizza slices. <laughs> slices. Slices. <laughs> Alright, so... Why do I have such a flat head? <laughs> Everything sits on your head. I know. Not on my head. And... These are one of my favorite chocolates. So we're gonna try to mimic the editing style, which is pretty... Sp <laughs> Every time. Every time. But we're not going to go with four different chocolates. Instead, we're going to go with two, simply because we're using a smaller container. And we're only going to use one of the cookie doughs, not two. I don't think we could eat all of this anyways. I don't think so, but we're going to try it anyways. Well, not eat all of it, but we're going to do it. I mean, we could eat all of it if we had some <laughs> in there. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, where is it? everything's legal in Canada. <laughs> All right, so even though on the TikTok itself, it didn't show a greased pan, this does say that we should have a greased pan. So we did go with the Pillsbury chocolate chip cookies. And that smells good. I love Oh, I put my nose in it. Don't do it. You told me I wasn't allowed to. No. <laughs> oh, wow, I haven't done that in years. That's good. I don't like it as much as I used to. It's too sweet though. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're gonna grease the pan and then let's do some fun editing in the way that this TikTok was done. Alright, so we're going to put this in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 12 to 15 minutes. That's what the packaging says, although this is a bit thicker, so we're gonna go until they're kind of golden brownish. We're gonna keep an eye because goodness knows I can't bake. She can't bake. Let them know what happens when I try to bake. My father goes behind her and goes, when she offers to bake something. Nobody wants me to bake anything because everything turns into a frisbee. Alright, so I put R on this side because this is where the Reese's pieces are and M because this is where the Mars bar are. That way we can try and test it out. I don't know if it's gonna stay, but we're trying it anyways. <laughs> a little longer than a few minutes later. So here we are about, how long? 27 minutes. 27 minutes later. So definitely it, it takes way longer than the instructions of the package say. For sure, it's a lot thicker. No, you have to heat it up. No. <laughs> we well, voted no. Okay, so it's still pretty warm. So I figure the gooey, gooey side the gooiness should be spot on. You ready? Are we going right in the middle? You can't even see the, the letters. Yeah, that's R. That's M. Oh yeah, look, there it is. R, M. There's okay. caramel in here, oh my god. So here's the Reese's <gasps> Pieces one, and... It's not Reese's Pieces. Yeah, the R. Reese. Yeah, but it's not Pieces. It's a Reese. Pieces of candies. Stop correcting me! Jackie? Uh-huh, look. <gasps> oh, that looks good. So this is the Mars bar, and this is the Reese's. There you go. <laughs> You're like, Jesus. Okay, ready? Yeah. It's gonna be so sugary. Hot. Oh, it was hot. Mmm. It's really, really sugary. But yeah, I was about to say, it's really sugary, but if you cut them in little brownie sizes, it's perfect. It's perfect with a plain coffee mm -mm. or tea with no sugar. Mm -mm. <laughs> cup of milk. This is a cup oh, of milk. Oh, okay, yeah, it's a cup of milk. That works too. <laughs> okay, you wanna try this side? I went right in the right area. Dig it! What? <laughs> I'm always supposed to help you! Okay, and? It's dropping everywhere. I know. 
Mm. Uh, I think I like my side better. Yeah, I think I like the Mars bars better just because I feel like a little bit of the saltiness in the chocolate itself balances out the rest of the sweetness. Whereas the Reese's, it's all just sugar. It's all just sugar. So definitely I could recommend the Mars, the Mars bar. Take a cookie or a chocolate that is less sweet. Mm. That's really good. You'd expect it to be worse though because it has a like caramel in it. Mm -hmm. But it's actually really good. Yeah. So how do we rate this recipe? I would say a thumbs up. I was gonna say, it's cash. <laughs> it's cash. <laughs> Put it in the garbage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely a thumbs up. It's mm. easy to make, it's quick. Yeah. And if you are um enjoying down the No <laughs> P Yes. Is, is worth, worth your, your recipe. recipe. <laughs> the next recipe on the list is rainbow jello grapes. We have to admit we have this much hope on for the, these grapes. For these grapes because it's the same girl as the popcorn. Are you done interrupting me? I don't trust her anymore. <laughs> So, so far, this person has proven that their recipes is uh, not that great. So let's see how we um, how we fare with those grapes. Mm, not much hope in them. Mm -mm. Let's watch the video. Grab some grappas. Put them in a bowl. Wash them. Fill the bowl with water. Grab five flavors of gelatin. Separate them into bowls just like this. You'll need some toothpicks. I accidentally got bamboo forks. Stick a toothpick into the fork. I meant grape, not fork. Now dip it into the gelatin. It should look something like this. What worries me the most about this recipe is that, yes, the grapes are wet, but the jello powder isn't on the outside. So it looks like dry. Yeah, it just looks dry and weirdly, like clumped, clumped. Clumped? English number one. <laughs> clumped. It. Clumped. It. It's so clumped. It. It just looks like it's gonna clump on it and it's gonna have like a weird texture, grainy, bleh. Yeah, that's my guess too, is that it's going to have a weird, grainy, crunchy texture. Why are we putting it in the fridge anyways? Is it to kind of let them dry on there? And like, once it's dry, is it just gonna like fall off? I guess we're gonna find out all of that. Because I, I would say that even though this video got over 400,000 yeah, 400, views, I have really high doubts. And let's continue. Once you've dipped them, put them on a baking sheet with parchment paper. Once you've done that, stick them in your fridge for one to two hours. It's been about an hour and a half, let's take them out of the fridge. They'll end up looking like this, and you're done. Now you know how to make rainbow grapes. Let's try them. Okay, here we go. It's still pretty crispy looking. Wow! Part of me good. feels like it's it's fake, mm. but I guess we'll find out. No, yeah, that we was can, really we can good. Give a skit. Wow! Wow! Try one. <laughs> He didn't even get a chance to say what he thinks. So that guy's reaction, he had no say in what he thinks, so. He was probably like, this tastes like crap. <laughs> You're so judgmental already. We're gonna try. So, let's go get our grappas. Let's go get our grappas, our very sour grappas. I know, they're sour. So here are our grappas. We have about 20-ish of them. Green grappas. But we're not going to go with the rainbow style. We figured we would take two colors that kind of Contrast? Yeah, sure. Contrast. Sure. <laughs> Compliment? Um, not really. I don't think so. Ah, uh, the art people are gonna come after me. <laughs> I decided to go with orange because I love orange flavored things. If there was banana jello, I definitely would have gone for it, but mm. I don't think they make them. <laughs> and Sika. I went for berry blue because I usually like uh, blue raspberry kind of things. So let's give them a try. To be food you're not you're supposed to be gentle i fed you pizza before this that was gentle right it was not a hard throw Snip. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> all right so we're going to be pouring our jello powder in here oh that smells really sweet was i supposed to pour it all that's fine <laughs> I didn't pour it all, but close enough. All right, so our grapes have still been soaking, so all we have to do is poke them. What did you do? Nothing. <laughs> do you want me to poke one? Is that yeah, what go doing? for it. That's, I'm offering it to you. Dang nabbit. <laughs> I'm trying to get it in. <laughs> That's what he's... All right, now we're going to dunk them into the powder. I think them, oh, dripping. that's that's not ah. that's not easy to coat. Yeah, you're going to have to swirl Ow, it yourself. I stabbed myself. There we go. I don't like this. So as your grains can see, yes, the grapes were soaked, but at the same time... It's hard to coat them properly. Yeah, and it's and still... And I've got like a gloop right there. And not just that, but it's still pretty... What's the word? Crunchy? What? Crunchy looking. Anyways, that's what it looked like on the TikTok, so let's make a couple. You have so much jello on your fingers. I know. How did you manage? I don't know. Tastes like crunchy jello. Was it good? 
Yeah. So it seems like Sika's having technical <laughs> difficulties. It's just grape and jello. Look, grape and jello. What if we just take the grape as is? And just put it in. And just put it in there. And then poke it out. And yeah, exactly. There. That's good enough for now. We'll see if it makes a difference. So I'm going to poke it this way. And onto the parchment paper. So the process to making this is really simple. So if it does taste good, would it be a quick and easy activity as a party type snack? Yeah. yeah. But the question is, is it good? Let's find out. And as you can see from the close up, it does look very powdery, very clunky and chunky and crispy, which is not necessarily how I like to describe my grapes. Yeah, but you started out wrong because you picked up very sour grapes. But we're gonna go through she the whole experience. The <laughs> and grab one grape stick. Mmm, that one's sweet! And then she brought them, and literally I think that was the only one that was sweet in the whole bag because everyone I've had has made my left eye twitch. But, we're gonna go through the recipe itself and how it tastes in general. Mm -hmm. Stop being salty. Mm -hmm. Isn't this the point? Not to me. I have to be salty, it's everything or nothing. Go big or go home. Go harder, go home. Don't go home. Don't go home. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna shove it in the fridge for about two hours. And we'll be right back. Two hours later. All right, so here we are two hours later with our solidified jello grapes. grapes. They still look the same. They still look pretty crispy. I don't know how I feel about them. Yeah, look. Oh, that crunched. <laughs> yeah, so this is what they look like, which is pretty much exactly the same way we put them in. So, you ready? Smells like jello. Cheers. It smells bad. I hate jello so much. <laughs> Let's see if this is any good. Ready? It's actually not bad. You know why? Why? No, this is gross. The blue one's pretty good. It just tastes like jello powder on grapes. Oh, uh, the orange one's terrible. Uh oh, mm -mm. that was gross. I find the blue one tastes better than the orange one. The orange one's really gross. But still, it's a crunchy texture. It legitimately only tastes like jello powder yeah. on top of grapes. It doesn't taste like jello wrapped grapes, it's jello powder grapes. Really, there's nothing unique about this other than the fact that it's colorful. Would I eat this? Absolutely not. For me, this is definitely not worth it. I would throw this in the trash because it's gross. How would you rate it? The orange one was really disgusting. The blue one is a lot more colorable but it's not something I'd be like hmm I'm craving these today no would you make them for a party I don't think so <laughs> I was gonna make a comment but no I didn't think you would I either. guess it depends what kind of party but yeah no I wouldn't <laughs> what <laughs> so yeah no these I would say would go in, in the, the tr in the tr in the trash tr tr <laughs> I was like this <laughs> ready in okay I'm ready in the trash <laughs> All right, Sika has one more thing she wanted to add about this so recipe. I just, I just wanted to say that the texture kind of makes me want to gag because it's very similar to something. Basically, I have an issue. Our whole family has this issue. <laughs> we do. <laughs> Where when you eat something that's not supposed to crunch and it crunches, uh, it makes us gag. Kind of like eggs. If there's a piece of shell that's still on it, like, yep. I literally will gag and throw up. This is what this makes me feel like because grapes are not supposed to crunch this way. <laughs> no, it's just gross all around. The only reason she likes this is because of the, and the blue on the top. Exactly. But as an item in itself. Yeah, no, this is not something I'd be craving. Yeah. So. So, yeet it into the trash. Garbage. Yeet. <coughs> it's really gross. The orange one was fucking nasty. Oh! It's still on? It's on. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you turned it off. No, I turned it back on. Wait, were we recording? <coughs> yeah. Are you sure? 100%. I thought I said you turned them off. I just turned it back on. <laughs> Recipe number five. So we just had Reese's peanut butter cups, so we can judge it. Yep, we can tell if it's the same thing or not. So let's watch the video. I admit, so far, what I like about this specific TikTok is that he does give very specific measurements. So bonus points. Please. Let's do it. <laughs> I just love his hand movements. Today we're gonna be doing hand peanut movements. butter Reese's cups. Pieces. <laughs> Reese's. I mean not pieces. <laughs> I got you. Oh, and I think he wrote Reese's wrong, by the way. He wrote it with a C. It's with an S, right? Okay, so he, we all make those typos online. And by the way, I shouldn't talk because I do a lot of hand movements. It's in our jeans. <laughs> all right, you ready? Yeah. All right, so Let's the, do this. the recipe is graham, graham crackers. crackers. <laughs> Did you call it graham crackers? I say graham crackers. Oh no. <laughs> You're Englishing well. Peanut butter, icing sugar, and we opted for semi sweet chocolate chips because milk chocolate chips would have been just too much. <laughs> All right, let's get, let's do the doing. I was gonna say that, I was like, let's get the getting. <laughs> no, let's get the getting. Let's get the doing. Let's get, let's do the getting. Let's do the, that's when we're shopping though. Let's do the getting. I'm having more, it is so funny, it was sensitive. Shh. <laughs> 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 
All right, just to be clear, we are going to be doing this recipe in half because we're not gonna really eat all that much, but we came on to our first issue, which is this cord for the, the blender is not long enough, so we're just going to blend under my desk. I am not a cooking channel. I do not have the cooking space for this, and I do not have extensions. I don't even fit under here. My neck is all cramped up. <laughs> so where is Tika, you might ask? <laughs> Like, my neck is even a space oh, no. Okay, you're gonna have to plug this in. Oh my god, hang on. Give me the whole blender. I will. Give me it. Uh, here you go. Yeah. Look at this weird hand that's gonna come on from yeah. under the table. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're going to be putting five graham crackers. Oh, that's one. What the hell? Whoa, watch your mouth! Sorry. How many was that? That's three. Three. Four. <laughs> All right. All right. So here, I would like to open this, but I'm worried it's going to be powdery. Powdery. All right, Sika, you know where the pulse button is? Yeah. All right, go for it. Huh. Is this thing on? Oh, hang on. There's a back button here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> go. All right. So here is our graham crackers. Remember, we did it half. You okay? <laughs> Let me take this away from you. I'm trying to grab my leggings. And then we're going to do, it says half a cup, but I feel like this is a lot. I can't. <laughs> my leggings. I have to work in these tomorrow. Oh. Okay, well I guess that's as much as it's coming out. Jesus. Are you done? <laughs> no, my leggings look like <laughs> Whoa, girl! <laughs> Potty mouth this one. That should be enough. We don't want it too sweet. <laughs> it's not for sweetness, it's for texture. I'm really afraid to... Okay, we're good. Okay, we're good. Mixy, mixy. All right, I'm gonna mix this while you add more. Oh, this is interesting. So far, this mixture looks interesting. I don't know if there's any other liquid added on there, but... We'll keep going. So here we are after about three to four minutes of mixing, and this is the consistency. It seems pretty much similar to the one in his video. All right, let's make the chocolate. Since we don't have a measurement for chocolate, it's good enough for now. Yeah. All right, so we have our melted chocolate, and we have our peanut butter Peace. filling. I am so curious to taste it. Don't do it. We should taste it all together. Yes. Don't do it. Hey, I will pull your hat over <laughs> your head. All right. Let's scoop some in. You, you, can, you can scoop yourself, scoop your but own. But I'm left-handed. Help yourself. All right, so here we go at the bottom. So sister you are. <laughs> that escalated quickly. <laughs> I know, right? Like, damn. Make sure you put it on the sides, he said. Okay. How much peanut butter is too much peanut butter? Or is there such a thing? Put some more! Don't be shy, put some more! Okay, so here's the first cup. Looks good. Looking good. All right, it's impossible to get these as clean as possible, but that's as good as it gets. Off to the fridge for, I would say, about half an hour. A little longer than a few minutes later. And so here are our peanut butter cups. I am really excited to try these. Let's cut them in half and see what they look like. Should we cut them with a knife or let's just break them? Let's just break it. Okay. When the guy was eating them, they looked super crunchy. They did look crunchy, but we didn't leave them in the fridge for too long. We left them room temp at some point because I don't like cold chocolate. Yeah, no, me neither. Eh. Ooh. Oh. Look at that. That looks really good. So the texture on the inside really does look like a Reese's cup. Yeah. There you go. Good I job. I said it. I didn't say Reese's, Reese's pieces. pieces. Okay. Oh, it's so melty. It oh is. my god. Just take it. You got it? Yeah. Ready? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can you tell mm. we're siblings? Oh, peanut butter. Too much peanut butter. It's not bad though. Honestly, it's actually really good. This is really good. And the fact that we chose dark chocolate will semi sweet. <laughs> I put a lot of peanut butter. This is really good. The inside does taste like a peanut butter cup. Yeah. The recipe is very nice, very easy to make. So yeah. if you want to make this at home, Go I would it. say that this recipe... So far, so good. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> it's chocolatey. Mm, like, good. <laughs> yeah. If you like room temp chocolate, definitely don't leave it in the fridge for too long. So yeah, worth your time. With your recipe. With your recipe. I would probably give it an 8 on 10. Yeah. Our sixth one no. is... No. No, we've had enough. Everything sucks today, except for one. That's true. No, just finish it then. No, but I'm agreeing with you. Which means one of two things, or both. TikTokers are liars, or... <laughs> am I creating enemies? Possibly. <laughs> Most probably. <laughs> or TikTokers just really suck at cooking and baking. <laughs> Probably both. Probably both. The girl eating the popcorn's like, mmm, so good. Yeah, so good. <laughs> 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 All right, so 
this TikTok recipe is no different. It promises in it. two ingredients, two minutes for chocolate mousse. All right, so let's watch the TikTok. Two ingredients, two minutes, the best chocolate mousse ever. Get some chocolate and put it in a bowl. Add some boiling water and stir. So, I so feel far, like it wouldn't, but it, like, I feel like it wouldn't do that. Like, it's not gonna, like, I feel like it's just gonna sink to the bottom. It's not gonna um, combine with I, the water. That's the thing is, I don't know if water and chocolate will melt well together. I could be wrong, but usually I was told that water shouldn't get in your chocolate, otherwise it seizes. I could be wrong. However, the biggest concern for this Grant Cook's food is you put zero measurements. Yep. You just a chocolate and water. That's it. And ice. And for a recipe that got over 360 thick, 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 thick. Something's wrong. I must be slipping. Wow. 66. 3,000. Okay. 366,000. Is that what you want to say? There we go. I said it for you. Go on. It's kind of sad that we don't get any measurements. After about 30 seconds, the chocolate will melt and it will look like this. Let's take some ice, add some water, then place the chocolate on top and start to stir again. Really quickly, you'll see the chocolate cool and it'll start to thicken. So, so far, the first part of the chocolate should melt within 30 seconds, and then we put icy water, continue stirring it. This will probably take about one minute, and when it starts to look like this, that's when it's time to stop. Play up and enjoy. So, that looks like ice cream. That totally looks like ice cream. It looks nothing like the what actual was inside mousse. The yeah. yeah. Can you stop interrupting me? I have things to say, okay? Go ahead. No, but like every time I see them, like you're talking over me, so I have to talk over you, and um, I have nothing else to say now. <laughs> Go on. As we're saying, this here looks like ice cream. It definitely doesn't look like chocolate mousse yeah, no. at all. We'll see if this is the result we're getting. We're going to follow the instructions as closely as we can. What instructions? He gave us none. He gave zero measurements. Water, chocolate, stir, put on ice, stir, ta-da. Two Wait. minutes apparently. Let's just do it. I'm pretty sure we're gonna mix them for like 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, if it doesn't go past, if it goes past two minutes, it's an it's automatic fail. fail. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, here's our bowl. Let's put some chocolate. Oh! Okay, that's good enough. Yeah. <laughs> Boiling water. He said 30 seconds, right? So we don't have measurements. By the way, check out my limited edition merch. This is not it. By the way, make sure you check my merch shop. There's limited edition foil designs until March 21st. Once they're gone, they're gone. They're there to celebrate 1 million grain subscribers. All right, so here's our hot water. That's enough? Yeah, it seems legit. Okay, and now we stir for 30 seconds? Like a madman. Okay. Oh! Yeah, it's melting. All right, so here's our chocolate and water melted. Ice, cold water. Here's the bowl on the inside, and let's keep going. And this should be for about a minute and a half. Sika, put your timer on. All right, so here we are stirring after three minutes. And if you look at the beginning, we technically put, it seems about the same amount of water to chocolate ratio. Yeah. And even though his looks very watery at the beginning, it looks thicker right before he starts completely starting to mix it. So there's something a little off there. I'm pretty convinced it's ice cream too. Yeah, and on top of it, it feels like such a huge lie. That looks like an ice cream scoop. Let's look at it again. Yeah, does not look like a chocolate mousse that he made or whatever was in his container. So you, sir are a liar you lad and now i am sad because i have to throw up chocolate i can't do anything look it. at that it's still very watery you yeah, know it did nothing and so this recipe for us would go in the trash although not in the trash because that's gonna make one mess mm -hmm. i mean i have a pie in my mouth i'm sorry i know but everything today did not work well except for one recipe i understand come here i'll make you pizza and now we have two questions for you grains. The first one, have you ever tried any recipes from the interwebs? That was a complete flop. And if so, which ones? And let us know in the comment section below. And the next one that I have is, have you seen any TikTok or online or Pinterest recipes that you think are just a little weird and you would like me to try them out? Let me know in the comment section below as well. Sometimes posting links might get the comment deleted, not by me. This is an automatic YouTube thing. So feel free to leave the name of the recipe and I can, I can browse it. If you want to watch the previous TikTok TikTok video, check it up here. And if you want to watch a crafty video, check it out down here. Until then, we will see you grains in, in the, the next, next video. video.